Let's talk a little about fragile states. President Lindbergh, the task force is charged not with preventing terrorism, but also very particularly addressing the underlying causes of extremism in fragile states. Why is it so important to, talk, to focus on fragile states? And when we talk about them, what are the conditions in fragile states that drive extremism? Thank you. Um, you know, every fragile state is fragile in its own way. But what we're seeing is some shared characteristics. They are usually states where the social contract between the government and its people uh, have broken down. And you usually have highly fragmented populations, a uh, pervasive sense of injustice, lack of opportunities, both economic as well social and political. So you have a large disenfranchised and aggrieved population who feel they have few choices in a state that is not responsive to their needs. And this is fertile ground for uh, extremist groups to recruit, to provide an alternative. And what we've seen is over the last decade and a half, the rise of extremism particularly in fragile states, and increasingly with the goal uh, to hold territory, whether it's al-Shabaab in Somalia, Boko Haram in Nigeria, and of course, ISIS in Syria and Iraq. And so, in addition to the military capabilities to degrade their ability to hold territory, it, for us to really get ahead of this, we need to work in partnership with fragile states, with international partners to really understand and address those underlying causes.